So, so Richard, obviously had a, a couple of weeks out recently with a with an injury, but back in action on Saturday. Um, you're pleased to be back, fighting fit against a, you know a few big fixtures coming up for the club. Yeah, I was mad keen to get back because um, these fixtures coming up have uh, got potential to define our season. And um, like all players, you just you want to be involved in the biggest games, and and we've got three massive games coming up. So this this weekend against Was will mark your your 200th Saracens appearance. You've in the, in the time of you know playing for the club, you've got three Premiership titles, two Champions Cup chi- titles. Can you reflect on your your time at the club? Yeah, well, I think I'd have bit your hand off if you when I signed if uh, if you told me that was what was going to happen and play two hundred games for the club and um, obviously more than the games, those those big games and the memories along the way opened my eyes to a different way of doing things and um, I think all I can say is I thoroughly enjoyed it. And we managed to win win a bit as well, so yeah, it's, it was the perfect move for me, really. Having won those trophies, still playing um, as well as you ever did, what what motivates you to, to keep going the way you are? Um, I don't know. I'm just mad keen for for more. I don't think teams reach potential yet. I'm keen to improve. Um, touch wood, body feels good, so I'm um, I'm happy to keep going with part of this group as long as I can, really. But I think it's a lot of the group want to push on. I think that. Um, that keeps your enthusiasm going as well, and um, that's how I just feel like I always have, and which is wanting to get better and want to help to try and win things, and um, that's why I came to the club because I thought we were going to win, and um, I've just been sort of blessed to be part of you know a very very good group of players, and um, one that I think can achieve more yet. When you first joined from Sale, did you ever envisage being here eight, eight years later? I didn't know I signed for three and they told the missus we'd go back up north after after that to, to get her over the dotted line. I think we just had Matilda who was, uh, we moved down, she was only eight weeks old and took her away from all the family and friends and stuff and the newborn. But um, you know, we both loved it and settled in down south like I never thought I would. Um, I just massively enjoyed it and that's you know a testament to the club and the way they did things. But also lucky to be part of such a great group of lads that you make friends and you and you have such a good time day to day. I think um, you know I, I, it really has had everything. But to answer your no, I don't think I'd have been here that long and probably enjoyed it as much as I have. So two hundred games later, what's made it such a good fit at Saracens? Oh, everything. I came. Um, it's improved me as a player and a person. Definitely, as I said, opened my eyes to a different way of doing things. Uh, when Edward and Brendan brought me in, they were. They saw things very differently than um, a straight talking Northern have probably did, and that opened my eyes to lots of different ways of doing things. And um, I'm, I might not have changed that much. I'm still a straight talking Northerner, but definitely appreciate different things and um, what makes people tick. And just to be part of a group so varied, we've had so many international players and people from all over the world playing for us, and um, you know, made some lifelong friends and uh, some brilliant memories along the way.